All right, what's going on, Sith friends? Darth Kimchi here. So we're in my conquest, and I wanted to do a little show. So, is it worth it to push your GP to 4 million to get into hard conquest? Let me give you my opinion. So, yes, it is worth it. Is it fun? Heck no. Is it frustrating? Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. Um, but it's worth it. So, first off, we'll just show, look at the sectors. 60 out of 96. 63 out of 96. 62 out of 118. It's sloppy. Like, you're getting two stars. You're getting one star. You know, gas is barely getting through uh, some teams. You know, I got an amazing gas squad. You know, I'm losing three clones. So, it is ugly. The feats are so difficult. Like, come on. Defeat 100 enemies with Boba Fett and Jango Fett? If you guys do not have Relic Bounty Hunters, that's not happening at all. Win 40 battles with a full squad of Bounty Hunters? That's not happening. And I love my Bounty Hunters. I've got two great leaders, but they have to be full Relic. They have to have the best mods because it ain't working. Most times that you try, they're all being defeated before the first turn. That's one thing in Conquest that's crazy is that the opponents always go first. I mean, you got Phoenix going before you. Um, so these feats are hard to do. But the ones like defeat at least 500 enemies, you know, win 20 battles with Boba Fett and Han Solo. I was able to do that because I took out C-3PO and put Boba Fett in there. But Boba Fett would die a lot of times because he's only gear 12. He's so squishy. But that's that was pretty fun to do. So I like to do that. And then, of course, there are feats within the sectors. So it's, it is ugly. It has, been, it has been very, very frustrating, especially if you do not, have, do not have two Galactic Legends. So in my Discord, a good buddy, uh, FizzFet, I think it's P-H, or no, P-S-P-E-T, something like that. He showed that he got the red crate on hard, man. That's awesome. But then again, he's 7.4 million Galactic Power. So it probably was not too hard for him. Now, also, I have my good buddy, John Wayne. I love that name. Uh, sent me pictures in my Discord. I think um, another person did, too. Uh, Date Akiko, I think so. So they showed me what you got out of the uh, red crate in medium. So let's go take a look at the rewards. All right, guys. So first, before we look at the rewards, let's talk about this... Um, Conquest Pass. So I do love Conquest. That's why I want, I want to know everyone's um, opinion on it is. I think to be able to do anything in the game that we all like that's not the daily grind is so cool. But the, the Conquest Pass, I feel like since they've added it, it's made it so much harder. Like, I'm not spending $29.99 to get a Conquest Pass. Like, yes, I know it's probably worth it. I like how you doesn't cost you to unequip um, and re-equip. Uh, data disk, so that's cool. But twenty nine ninety nine, come on. And then I, I'm not even paying nine ninety nine. So let me know, guys, if you have paid for this past. And definitely, uh, FizzFed, did you buy one of these passes? Is that what made it so easy for you? I would love to know, buddy. All right, so we're not getting any stuff on top. So let's look at this one that I'm about to achieve pretty easily. Not very easy. Uh, well, I don't want to say very easy. I was able to get this with not too much. Uh, aggravation, but it, some feats in some phases are pretty hard, but you get 40 boba. In the red, in the medium, you get 25. You get 20 maul, and then you get 15 in the red, in the medium. So, okay, you get a little bit more tunes, but look at these pieces here. So you get 10 of this one right here, which you get 20 in the medium. You get 15 of this one right here, which you get uh, only 10 and this one right here, you get 15, and then you get 20 in the medium. So I, I understand that, you know, that's kind of like the same, but you do not get this piece in the medium red crate. Is this a rhodium heat sink? We only we, we need hundreds of these. So that's pretty cool. Now, my thing is I'm definitely going to try. I'll definitely get to this one. Definitely. That shouldn't be a problem at all because I get two R8 maps, which is great. You know, this is nice to have this piece as well. And then I'm going to... Probably spend at least maybe 100, maybe 150 crystals to at least try to get to this one right here. It's got five R8 mats. It's got Zimbindle cards. So this is definitely where I'm going to definitely try to achieve. And then I'll definitely know it would really be worth it. But yes, guys, I, I think it's worth it. But what I'll talk about going to back to these sectors. So if you were in the medium, 
and you're thinking about moving up to the hard, what I would recommend is if you had problems, like if you weren't getting 96 out of 96, if you weren't getting, you know, 118 out of 118 in the first three sectors, you may want to look at your mods and you may need higher relic levels. Now, I know you be hard to get 96 out of 96 because some of the feats have changed. It's more about bounty hunters. But I used to get very high um, of these right here, completions. So if you're having problems with that, you're probably not ready for hard conquest. You know, I don't have any Galactic Legends. What's been super helpful for me is my CLS squad. So CLS, because Han shoots first, to me has been so amazing. I can usually take out one tomb before they even start to go crazy, the, the, the opponent, the computer does. So that's been super helpful. Uh, definitely a CLS squad. You know, I, I'm sure, like, you know, super fast Darth Revens, because my JKR is like 350, almost 60 speed, and the opponent is always going first. That's the problem I have with Conquest, that they always go first. So to, to get some of these feet done by using all bounty hunters, they're going to go first, and your tunes are going to die, especially if they're not all relicked out. And then I like, the only duo I've done in hard Conquest is Bugs with Darth Trey and Darth Scion. Like in medium, like you could do super fun things with like Vader, you know, it, it's fun. You know, it's not, not too hard at all. But up here, oh man, it's been difficult. So I'll show Treya and, and Scion, I just did it. All right, let's get in there and show it off. No wasting 20 energy, but this is pretty fun. They've been great to have because the opponent always goes first. Darth Scion is basically like a meat shield. I have Trey on Scion both modded for critical avoidance arrows in all health and all defense mods. Just makes them thick because the bugs are just going to defeat themselves. You see that. With Trey a lead, the more times they take turns, they just start defeating themselves. All right, right there, Spy is gone. Very nice. So just because you lose so much energy with all your tunes. So to have squads like this that you can always use for bugs has been pretty cool so you definitely have to have your squads ready to go so was it worth it yes it was worth it it's definitely not any fun especially because i don't have any galactic legends no i do have great teams like i said my cls squad has been amazing all right guys so definitely let me know in the comment section how do you feel about conquest like i said guys to do anything other than the daily grind is so cool i know it's frustrating but i like it so comment below uh, keep on sithing until next roster showcase. Darth Kimchi signing out.